Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So today the postman has been and put a couple of packages through the letterbox. Uh, I've opened them all so there's going to be no unboxings for today. I got two from CEX and one from Magpie. I also got a pickup yesterday. Well I got two pickups yesterday from CEX as well which I will show you. So first off <clears throat> from the Vintage Classics collection I got the Goose Steps Out, starring Will Hay, made in 1942. I have seen a bit of this one when they showed this on TV, and I enjoyed what I saw of it, so I've been wanting to try and pick up my own copy. About there. The uh, story is basically about Will Hay's character going undercover uh, during the Second World War as a Nazi teacher and uh, he has mishaps. It's on for 75 minutes and the special features we get a Will Hay short called Go to Blazes BBC Radio 3 essay British film comedians Will Hay audio featurette by Simon Heather and interviews with someone else so yeah happy to get this and this was not as expensive as I was uh, expecting of the disc side. The disc does have a few scratches on it, but I'm hoping it won't have uh, any playback issues. And the next one, again, from the Vintage Classics Collection, I got The Captive Heart. Starring Michael Redgrave, Jack Warner, Basil Radford, Gordon Jackson and few others and this one was made in 1946 and this one is about a soldier who takes the identity of a dead British officer and tries to escape a prisoner of war camp so this movie is on for a hundred minutes and special features we get a short film showing evacuation of a liberated British prisoners Prisoner of War Camp from April 29, 1945. Audio interview with war artist John Worsley and a few others and still gallery. So looking forward to checking this movie out. Not the disc there. In immaculate condition. And the one that I got from Music Magpie was brand new factory sealed, but uh, taking the seal off. And this finishes off my George Formby collection. So I now have all of George Formby's movies, but the only way I can get it is by getting a set that includes three other films, that uh, two that I've never heard of, and one that I don't really care too much about. And I got the... Um, the Ealing Studios Varieties Collection Volume 14 which has The Sign of Four, The Water Gypsies, the movie that I ordered this for, Feather Your Nest and The Lonely Road. So The Lonely Road 1936 on a drunken drive to the coast an ex naval officer interrupts what he believes is a smuggling operation in forms Scotland Yard. It's on for 70 minutes. The Water Gypsies from 1932 a uh, tale about a girl living on a Thames barge and her love for a local artist, 74 minutes. The Sign of Four, 1932, a Sherlock Holmes mystery in which an ex-convict seeks revenge on a man who failed to honour his word, stars Arthur Wontner as Sherlock Holmes, 74 minutes. And Feather Your Nest from 1937, George Formby uh, stars as a gramophone record factory worker who creates a hit song which is leaning on a lamppost so looking forward to checking the George Formby movie out me have a look at some of the other films that you get in this set but uh, to be honest I didn't order it for that and uh, yesterday's pick up from CEX I don't know why but uh, I picked up the second season of The Flash. I have season one. I've 
watched a couple of episodes from it, but I'm just not a massive fan of it. And I don't know why I bought this, but I just did. I had I had a voucher, so it didn't cost me anything. So I picked up season two of The Flash, and this is in mint condition. It has all was it twenty three episodes? Yep. Some for one thousand and twenty one minutes. And it's got loads of extras, deleted scenes, Comic Con from 2015, and luckily it's got its slip box, so I'm happy about that. So, I did pick up a B movie, <clears throat> and the B movie I picked up was one that uh, I've been looking at for a while. Uh, it now makes me have 10 B movies to start the. B movie reviews series that I'm planning on doing in the near future and this one looks similar to The Hunger Games because I picked up The Hunters so I haven't got a clue what this is about or anything I just picked it up so I now have 10 B movies to watch review and give over to a charity shop so I don't know when I'll be starting that series but uh, it will be in the near future definitely so those are my poster and pickups I'm real happy with them so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed if you did give the video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more videos and until next time take care and thank you very much for watching.